Welcome to my lecture online. Here we have a second example of first of all how to determine whether or not we're dealing with permutations or combinations and then actually to work it out. So again we're taking a class of 30 students. We need to choose a team of five but one is a captain and four are players. Hmm, does that make a difference between just picking any five students? Well let's see if it does. First of all notice that the action of picking a captain is going to be different than the action of picking four players. So really the number of outcomes, which is the same as the number of teams we can choose, is going to be the product of two outcomes, call it N and M, it doesn't matter, we can just use any letters, A and B, whatever you want to call it. Now, if we're going to calculate the number of combinations, and why would it be combinations? Well, they kind of give it away, order doesn't matter, but even if order didn't matter, you really don't care what order you pick the players. You simply want to pick five players, well, one captain and four players. And it doesn't really matter if you pick the players first and then the captain or the captain first and then the players, you'll get the same result. So, yes, we are going to be dealing with the number of combinations, not the number of permutations. All right, so the number of combinations is equal to the number of combinations to pick the captain multiplied times the number of combinations to pick the players. So essentially it's going to be the product of the two outcomes. And since there's 30 students and you pick one captain out of 30 students, there's 30 possibilities, there's 30 outcomes for the first one. And then we have to pick four players out of the remaining 29. So that would be the combination of 29 players picking four. So in this case, that's going to be equal to 30 multiplied times 29 factorial divided by 29 minus 4 factorial and then multiply that times 1 over 4 factorial. In this case, R is 4 and N is 29. So let's work that out. So this is equal to 30 multiplied times 29 factorial divided by 25 factorial and multiply times 1 over 4 factorial like this so this is equal to 30 times 29 factorial divided by 25 factorial is 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 because 25 and below cancels out between the denominator and the numerator and then we take the whole thing divided by 4 factorial which is equal to 24 that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All right, let's see what that is equal to. So we have 30 divided by 29, divided by 28, divided by 27, divided by 26. Oh, that didn't look good. 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26. And, well, I might as well write that down. So this is equal to 17 million 100 1720 that would be the total number of permutations if you were to pick five students and order mattered and then we divide that by 24 and we get 712,530 different combinations different teams that we could pick if we need one captain and four players. So it really does make a difference that we pick one captain and four players instead of picking five players. And there it is. That's how it's done. Make sure you take a look at those two examples and compare them to see where the difference is. But that is how we do this particular problem. All right, is that a wrap for today? A wrap.